Hey guys, welcome back to Kumasawa Reviews. What we have today is first Gokens NT02 Araku Saki. Obviously, this is an homage to the Ninja Turtles character Shredder Oroku Saki, one letter off. And this is one that I had moderate interest in at best, but so far it's my tour of the year. You can see it comes with additional hands, one's for holding swords, one for holding size, as well as a sword. Alright, now just getting a measurement on this guy. People wonder a lot about his scale. He's about eight and three quarters inches tall, so about one eighth scale I believe that is. He goes best with the TMNT classics from 2012 rather than the strict 4 inch, 6 inch, things like that. But die cast parts, helmet, belt, feet. I'm giving you that top to bottom, bottom to top view here. And it's kind of hard because the cape, which is posable, covers up a lot of the back, but it's a lot like the front, those details and things like that. Now here's a comparison to their first offering, Cerebral, Krang, as well as one of those 2012 Classics Turtles in Leonardo. Just so you can see the size there. Now he does come with this weapons rag. It's kind of cool. I, I don't know if the storyline's supposed to be that he murdered all the turtles and took their weapons, but... He comes with a rack full of turtle weapons, so I don't really know. They haven't released any lore or anything like that in regards to the toys, so I don't really know what the, that's supposed to really represent, but he comes with them. And obviously, the turtles can hold these weapons. Now, in terms of going inside of like the sword sheets, this is the first time I've tried this. This is the first time I've even had them hold it. I just figured they would, so I'm glad that that worked. But... It was a little bit hard right there putting it into the sheath, so I didn't want to break the weapon or anything like that, even though they don't look as thick as his regular weapons. So I'm going to try that again, and maybe I'll put a note on the video here, but we'll see. Right now, I'm going to put that as a note, though, for them going in the sheath. And it's been a while since I've played with these uh, Classics Turtles. But I don't remember them being that crazy hard to stand, but they're a little bit awkward, not gonna lie. Eventually I'm gonna pick up the Figure Arts Turtles too, just to check them out. But there you go, comparisons. Now taking a look at the posability on this guy, man, this is where he really shines. Alright, so he has the ball jointed where the head meets the neck and where the neck meets the chest as well. Now one thing you will notice the claws they will pop out while I'm posing them they hold in really well actually while you've got them in pose but when you're messing around with the hands and stuff like that they are easy in easy out even though they hold with friction very well they're you can shake it and stuff like that but they're not something you want to they're going to stay on while you're messing with the hands themselves a lot so that's just a note so don't take that as a, oh these things are loose or anything like that no they're just made to come in and out easily while you're handling the hand itself so that they don't break. Lots of posability and lots of balance. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen previous reviews where I've talked about just the padding on this tabletop. It's really hard to pose figures, so I'm not going to be doing a lot of the like kick poses and things like that. You can look at the pictorials for that kind of stuff to really show off a lot more of that. But the softness of the top of this table makes it hard so not gonna do anything too super crazy but you can see there the cape is wired so that's posable as well and there's not a pose that this thing cannot do the articulation's crazy waist swivel ab crunch it's just nuts this is like toy fun pose heaven now the look of it, I absolutely love it. Reminds me a lot of, even though he's not wearing the same costume, the TMNT Tournament Fighters, just that styling with the white eyes and things like that, that very anime look. It's cool. All right, now using one of these replacement hands. Now, both of the replacement hands, or optional hands, if we call them that, they come with open fists so that he can hold the weapons, but the other set actually comes with a gap in the middle area of his fingers so that you can hold the size like daggers. It's really cool, and I took a picture of that as well. And of course, kumbastyle.com, full written and pictorial review. Check out the gallery. Let me know what you think, blah, blah, blah. Not trying to show, but at the same time, photography is what I do. So if you're here, you should be there too. All right, getting this thing posed up. 
And I guess I can't really show for myself. I mean, you're here, so this, this is my stuff. Kind of goes with the territory. So disregard that. Just go to my fucking site. All right, can that claw back in? And I really like utilizing ab crunch when possible. So of course, we're gonna get that pelvis more outward. Because you can tell, he has a strong core. We're gonna show that off. And the diecast feet really do help on this. Now, the only thing nitpick I have about this one in terms of design, the ankles are very much so exposed which I'm fine with, but at the same time, they stand out. And all right, one thing that's nice about Hero, his helmet is removable. Again, that helmet is die cast. And you can replace it with, of course, is her. And honestly, I like the way that this helmetless look looks just as much as he does with the helmet on which was surprising to me I actually think I prefer it a bit more I found myself shooting as many pictures of him without the helmet as I did with and I kind of had to stop myself because I figured that's people would probably want to see him with his helmet more because that's what they're used to in terms of look but I really dig this I really really do Just getting him posed up there, and there he goes. That is Helmetless Shredder, or Roku Saki, or Raku, if you're going by these names. And again, this has been for Skokens NTO2 or Raku Saki. Check out the full written pictorial review on KumaStyle.com. Buy this guy at Lunar Toy Store. Links to both will be in the description. See you next time.